I've been using CSE's insights for threat investigation, but where do these insights come from? Great question. Once you understand how insights are generated, you'll understand how they relate to the data generated by your organization. That sounds great. So first, Sumo Logic collects and ingests all the log messages my company's app generates. That's right. Then Cloud Seam Enterprise or CSE takes those messages and turns them into records. But how? First, your Sumo Logic sources are configured to be processed by CSE. The ingest mapper is also configured at this step. In your case, this has already been done for you. Okay. So if I ever need to set that up for a new source, I can follow the documentation. Yeah. Once all that's configured, data starts flowing into CSE. Each log message is parsed, mapped, and enriched to become a record. Ah, so this is the data normalization process. CSE parses out the relevant info, like IP addresses, maps that info to a key value pair, and enriches it with data, like whether or not that IP address is on a list of known threat actors from CrowdStrike's database. You got it. Once the messages are parsed, mapped, and enriched, they become records. All messages that you forward from Sumo Logic to CSE become records. Wow, that might be millions of records. What happens next? These records are compared to rules. If a rule is triggered, an entity is extracted, a severity is assigned, and a signal is created. I see. So this is where the funnel starts to narrow. There might be hundreds or thousands of records, but only a few hundred signals. Right. Let's check it out. When you first log into the CSE UI, you'll see an overview of how many records have been ingested, how many signals have been created, and how many insights have been correlated. Ah, so the funnel gets even narrower since so few insights are created from the signals. You can see this in the Insight Radar on the home page as well. The Insight Radar is kind of like looking at the funnel from above. I see. So this outer edge represents the records ingested in the last 24 hours. And as we go further in, we find the signals and then the insights. Yep. Okay. I see how CSE compares records to rules to create signals, which have entities and severities. So where do the insights come from? CSE uses a type of correlation called clustering to create insights. And of course, once you have an insight, you can take action and investigate its related security events. And how does CSE decide which signals get clustered together into insights? Good question. Go back to the CSE UI. Click the Signals tab along the top nav. As you can see, each signal has a severity associated with its entity. If there are two signals with the same entity, those severities get added together into an activity score. When an entity's total activity score gets high enough, an insight is created. How high is high enough? By default, it's a total activity score of 12 from signals created in the last 14 days. Of course, this time frame and threshold are customizable. By the way, if you navigate to the Entities tab, you can see the activity score for the entities currently active in your system. I see, so some of these entities are likely to be correlated into insights since their activity scores are so high. That might be something to keep an eye on. That's right. Okay, if I click the Insights tab, I can see all the insights in my environment. All these names are based on the MITRE ATT&CK framework, right? How does CSE know what to call it? When you configure a rule, you choose which sort of tactic or technique from the MITRE ATT&CK framework you're trying to catch. That tactic or technique is associated with the signals that are generated based on the rules. Then, CSE uses those tactics and techniques to label the insights. Got it. And those labels make my threat investigations easier, since I already have a good idea what might be going on before I even open the insight. That's right. Okay, let me try to summarize. First, Sumo Logic collects and ingests log messages from my company's apps. Then those messages are parsed, mapped, and enriched into records. CSE compares those records to rules, and if there's a match, it extracts the entity, assigns a severity, and creates a signal. Then, if enough signals with the same entity cluster together and their total severity scores go past a certain activity score threshold, an insight is created. And of course, once I have an insight, that's when the real investigation begins. Sounds like you understand how insights are created. I have a pretty good idea now. Thanks for guiding me through how CSE generates insights.